Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode in our month of Azure Databricks. In this episode, we're going to look at machine learning in Spark. There are four key elements to machine learning in Spark. You have transformers, estimators, pipelines, and evaluators. And that's pretty much the crux of everything you're going to construct when you're trying to do machine learning. Now, this video isn't geared up to try and teach you how to do machine learning, and it isn't really going to teach you much about the process. It's merely going to try and show you the kind of process that you need to go through in order to do machine learning on top of Azure Databricks. So transformers. Transformers are some way that you are looking to basically transform your data. Maybe that is trying to clean up your data in some way, transform it into something better. Estimators are typically something that we are going to look to fit and then use that to further transform our data. So think about imputing missing values. Maybe what you're looking to do is you've got a, a column that you're looking to predict with and there are some missing values. And what you want to do is you want to work out maybe the mean for the entire column and then you want to use that to impute the missing values. An estimator can do that for you or alternatively estimators are also machine learning models, maybe a decision tree, maybe some kind of uh, regression model, whatever it is you're looking to do. And then we're going to encapsulate the entire thing in a pipeline so that we've got a repeatable process that we can always run. And then lastly, what we're going to do is going to evaluate that pipeline and just make sure that this is giving us the performance and the best prediction that we could possibly want. Okay, let's actually have a look at this. Okay, so here I am over in my notebook and what we're going to be looking at here is stepping through an example, going through the kind of exploration phase, the training phase and the evaluation phase to understand if we're making a good model or not, all using Spark ML on top of data frames. So the first thing we're going to look to do is we're going to look to import some data. Now I'm going to use the Black Friday data set that's available on Kaggle.com. So I'm specifying the schema here and I'm just getting this imported into a data frame. Now that data, as we've seen in other videos, doesn't actually get imported at this point. It's only when we call an action that it's actually going to load this data in. So let's call an action, let's call display and let's have a little look at the data we're working with. So this is the data. We've got things like the user ID, the product ID, whether they were male, female, their age range, and then ultimately what was the amount of purchase price that they um, spent. And that's purchase price is what we're looking to we're looking to predict. We have a label here, and we're looking to do a regression. Um, we're looking to do a supervised learning regression model on this particular data set. So first thing we might want to do is have a look at some summary statistics about what this data is and what it's trying to show us. In particular, we're looking at our purchase price. So we can see here that our average purchase price is just short of just over $9,000, maybe 9000 whatever this is in, and that we can see there's a standard deviation of $5,000 so that we can get a rough idea of what the sort of shape is of our purchase price. Moving on. We can try and clean up some of this data, try and fill in some missing values and have another look at our data. Okay, great. Right, so now we're on to the training phase. So the first thing we're going to look to do is try and split our data into a test set and a training set. We're going to go 80-20, 80% for our training, 20% for our testing. Then the first thing we're going to look to do is we're going to look to import a thing known as a string indexer. And this string indexer is basically going to take some strings, some categorical values that I have in my data and convert them into numerical values. This is basically because machine learning doesn't want to try and work across large, volu large volumes of text categorical data. It needs to work on numerical data. We can have a quick look at some of the parameters if we want to on this and try and see what it is we're trying to work with. So let's set this up. We're setting up a couple of um, string indexes for the various columns that we have available. So I've got gender, age, city cat category and product ID. Each one of these is categorical. Each one needs to be changed into a numerical vector. What I'm next going to do is I'm going to one hot encode these. 
to specify which columns are my feature columns. And then I'm going to create a pipeline. And this pipeline is basically going to do all of these steps one after another. So I'm importing a pipeline and then I'm setting the stages. So do all my string indexing, then do my one hot encoding. Then I'm going to do what's known as a vector assembler. And this is because SparkML does machine learning across a single column of one large vector. And then the last thing I'm doing is I'm importing my model, which for me is that linear regression model in that cell at the top of the screen. And I'm going to just call, um, get some predictions here. So I'm just going to transform my test data set with my model and see what we're working with. Let's display that. So what we can see here, if we scroll along, is we can see our cat gender, cat age, cat city. This is that string indexed values. Then moving along, that's our one hot encoded value. Moving further along to that feature column, that is our single column, which shows us everything as a single vector. And it's that column that we're training with. Last thing we can do is we can evaluate our model. So I'm going to use a regression evaluator as I have a regression model. And what I'm going to pull out is the um, R squared, the coefficient of determination. And I'm also going to pull out the root mean squared error. So what I can see is that my model is roughly off by something like two and a half thousand, which is about 25% of the mean. So not a great model, but this entire video isn't you know, geared up to try and teach you how to do machine learning. It's geared up just to show you the general process of spending, setting up a Spark ML pipeline. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. And now don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube so that you never miss a video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.